Welcome to the second WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 basic training. Today we're going to show tips and tricks on configuration and also discuss RAID and Windows storage spaces. The WD Sentinel DS5100 and 6100 are our new line of ultra compact storage plus server, a proven, reliable, and affordable solution for small medium businesses. We put an Intel Xeon class server into a really small form factor and we've also updated the OS to the Windows Server 2012 R2 Essentials. Take a look at the basic training video for more information. Today we're going to show you how to deploy the Sentinel really, really fast. We're actually going to go in the reverse order that's recommended. We're going to configure the storage of hard drives first, create the company shares, then create the users, and configure backup. Lastly, we will cover the special topic of RAID and Windows Storage Spaces. After the out of the box, what we're showing here is the Microsoft dashboard from R2 Essentials. If you recall, the DS series has up to two dedicated 2.5 inch OS drives. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually configure the dedicated data drives that goes up to 16 terabyte. To demonstrate the whole process of creating data pools, I'm clicking on RAID, the method that most people are familiar with. This launches the WD RAID utility which allows you to configure, uh, for example, you've had a two disk model, uh, your RAID into RAID 1, or if you have four disks, you can select RAID 5. For those that are experts at RAID, you can use a tool to configure even more advanced options. Next, we make Windows aware of the new RAID protected data pool using Disk Manager. Our boot drives take up the local disk enumeration of C, and as we uh, create our large volume here, we're going to take up the local disk uh, letter D. You actually can partition the, uh, the disk not to take up the entire pool and do lots more advanced configuration, but we're doing a simple deployment here. And as we use R2 Essentials to create file shares and folder shares, it's intelligent enough to uh, go ahead and create those shares onto the new D drive rather than putting all of those onto the smaller boot drive. In this appointment, I've decided to be a little fancy and uh, have my D volume only half the size of the entire pool. And now let's go and uh, configure a folder. We recommend creating your corporate level folders next, similar to the reason that we uh, we had for the hard drive and storage. You want to organize your storage first so that the folders can fit into that storage. And similarly, as you create the corporate level folders as we're doing here, as you add users, you can give them access to those folders at the same time. For the purposes of this demo, I'm creating two company-wide shares. In both uh, times, I'm skipping the backup. We'll do that later. and. After we've done that, we can actually add users, and in that process of adding users, we can specify what read-write permissions they have to these two folders. Let's take an excursion to see what this looks like on the client side. Here we're showing a PC uh, network share. A similar um, uh, interface is available for Mac. Users can actually access the company-wide folders based on their permission. And in addition, each user gets their own protected local storage usable and accessible by only those who know the password. The last best practice is to actually set up backup for all the folders that you've created. Uh, again, you could have uh, set the backup all along the way, but we recommend that you skip that. And then here at the, uh, at the uh, last step, we, uh, we go ahead and configure backup for all the files and shares that we created for the company. With that, your protected storage is configured, and now you can do other optional things like remote web access and uh, other features. Here's a brief comparison between RAID and Windows Storage Spaces. Both offer you protection for your data. Uh, with RAID, the pool is traded as different uh, data stored on multiple hard drives, while in uh, Windows Storage Spaces, the pool is uh, uh, abstracted from the hard drive. So simply. Uh, what this means is as you add more disk, Windows Storage Spaces will add more, uh, more space and with RAID you have to particularly manage it with the RAID utility that we provided. 
Now you can only have RAID or Windows storage uh, spaces running at one time. So I'm going to quickly delete my RAID um, uh, volume that I created. And then I'm going to configure Windows storage spaces by going back to the dashboard and going through the menu. You'll notice really quickly that you don't need to use Disk Manager to create the volume. Uh, Windows Story Spaces has a, a great user experience in that it creates the volume for you. From here, you can create folders and company shares and add users like we shown earlier in the video. Join us next time as we show some more how-to videos with the WSentinel DS series of products.